Welcome, Scorpio and Cross Watchers. This is my intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box if you ever want to get ahead. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus signs. I'll be reading the overall energy of the connection at the top and then um, the energy of your person at the bottom. We have the Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. So you may have been really devoted to this and given a lot to this connection, but things are really unbalanced here. You could have been married to this person for some of you, and then maybe they just didn't make as much of an effort or give as much to this as they should have. Okay, yeah. We have the Ten of Swords, so something came to some kind of ending here. You don't want to work together with this person anymore. You're kind of hold, you're holding back. You're holding back. You don't want to work together with this person anymore. They were maybe a bit of a player, a very inconsistent, very back and forth, very hot and cold. Um, so you made a decision here. Maybe some of you decided to pursue new love because you know you're just tired of, of these games with this person. Some of you may have filed for like a divorce or legal separation. Um, you, I feel like some of you may try to remain friends with this person especially if you have like a family with them or just try to like you know be kind but it's like you're just you are focused on other things maybe you see you're pursuing new love i feel you're kind of like a refusal to this or something because it's kind of like you know you invested you spent a lot of time and energy investing into something but no matter how much you gave they didn't reciprocate or they didn't give equally to this and for some of you this can be reversed like this could be your person's overall energy of what they experienced or something in, in a situation but something was it was chosen to end a situation it did cause a lot of pain but this is about you no longer deciding to work on something putting yourself first okay working on yourself you know and meditating taking some time some space okay healing because this person they hurt you it's like you're pursuing new things now they were inconsistent and back and forth and you are putting yourself first here. Like, like I said, you put yourself first, the justice card. This is about making things right. Uh, this is about healing. Some of you have turned to friends, you know, to like help you get through a situation that's been very difficult. Um, <clears throat> some of you may have met someone, okay? And like you're pursuing this and it feels right. Like it feels good for you. You know what I mean? Like as far as like how they treat you and how they make you feel about yourself and how they reciprocate and things it's very different than what you experienced in the past i'm getting a lot of cross watcher energy so, so for some of you that may be how your person has dealt with the situation and that's how they feel about you okay let's look at their thoughts feelings and intentions towards you and of course we'll get clarifying cards We have the Page of Cups. You could be dealing with a younger water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There could be kids involved for some of you. We have the Ace of Coins. Who got this? Was it Pisces or Aquarius? Perhaps I think it was Aquarius. <clears throat> we have the World. Wow. Somebody really doesn't know what they want to say or how they want to say it. We have the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Under the deck is the Death card, that Scorpio energy that is your energy. I feel like you are really masking your emotions. You're not allowing to see, you know, how much they hurt you in the past, even though you feel this deep pain. And I feel like even if you're moving on, there's still like that that pain because you spent so much time investing into a situation, feeding it, you know, and you were hurt, okay? It's like you're trying to overcome that. You know, it's like you, the truth is that you really just want to kind of focus on you and work on you right now. It's like you're not really, some of you, I mean, you may have met someone, but it's like your, your main priority at this time is really just giving to yourself, focusing on you, your self-love, your healing, you know, moving forward. Releasing the past, releasing all that past pain, trauma, hurt. For the Page of Cups here, I feel like somebody could be a bit childish, okay? Like, they may even use children to try to manipulate the situation. So I feel like there's someone who still wants to interact with you. They still want to move forward with you. Now, overall, I feel like their thoughts are, like, they're they're, they're sorrowful, okay? Because they're they're in their head, they're trapped in their thoughts about the situation. They they know that they mess things up. Taurus energy here. Like, so you could have been married to them, or you could have been committed to them in some way. And they really, they screw things up. 
um, they can't stop replaying these events in their mind about how they still feel tied to you, but they just can't move past what you guys had. And, like, they see that very clear now that they messed up. I don't feel like you have any plans or intentions to move toward the past, but you're, you're here because you're trying to figure out something about the situation or this person to get some kind of clarity or closure is what I'm hearing. With the Ace of Pentacles in their heart space, they still really, truly desire being able to start over with you. A, a, a fresh slate, a clean canvas. Can we start again? They want a do-over. They're in their head because they know that this is your choice. They don't have any control in this matter. It's completely up to you if you want to even try to revisit this. But they think about it. I mean, that's what they want. They want uh, Earth Energy Taurus Virgo Capricorn. They want a fresh start with you. They want to try this again. They want to open this door, uh, make a lot of promises to you. But, and they have all this anxiety, all this fear. Because, like I say, they're restless. They may be even having trouble sleeping here. They'd be up at night thinking about you, replaying conversations, yeah, um, in their minds, you know, what happened, what went wrong, what choices they should make, how they should move forward, what decisions can be made here, how to move, you know, how to move past this, how can you fix it. With the world here, their intentions is to communicate with you. They may have, the only intention that, the only way they can um, act on this intention is perhaps reaching out to you online. Okay, maybe you guys live at a distance from each other. Uh, it may be that, you know, they have to reach out to you on social media. Maybe you've actually blocked them and they're having to create, find creative ways to get through to you. Yeah. They still want to talk about what happened. They want to talk about the marriage, the situation, the commitment, what, what, what this was leading to with the two of you, about how to rebuild this. But, like, you're just kind of in this Queen of Wands energy, fire energy. You're, you're not going to accept less than you deserve. You know your worth. You know, this is about holding your head high, you know. And this person left you out in the cold, okay? They left you out in the cold no matter how much you're working on this, trying to build something here. And at one point, this may have been what you truly wanted. You pull back from them and they still feel like it's destined, okay? They still feel deep emotions for you. They still feel committed to you. They realize that you were that person. You were that queen of pentacles for them. Whether you're physically male or female, that queen of pentacles is somebody who, you know, they're, they're very... Um, Loyal, dedicated, honest, hardworking, resourceful. Somebody who's always going to have your back. And they lost that. They lost that and they, they see all of your strength now. And they have all these regrets about how they mistreated you or how they didn't give to this in the past. Problem is, is I don't feel like you want to keep repeating the past. One more, please. Yeah, that, I mean, that's the truth. It's like, yes, you still feel connected to this person. You may have saw some kind of residual tie when it comes to, like, children or money or something. Or just the past overall. But... You're moved on. Okay, you moved on. Some of you may have actually met this King of Pentacles type energy, and that's what you're moving towards with this Nine of, of Cups here. I feel like some of you may have even met like a, a strong soulmate energy. Someone who's very honest, like someone who's very giving, someone who doesn't like hold secrets, someone who doesn't lie, someone who doesn't make like the situation. And I feel like this person with their actions, they're still going to try to reach out to you. You may not want to hear that. It's like, and again, I'm not here to tell you what you want to hear. I'm here to tell you what you need to hear, what you need to know, okay? Um, you don't have to, you know, no one's saying you have to run back to them, if, you know, and no one's saying you have to reject them. You have free will to decide. I'm just here to be the messenger, to give you the information that I see. Um, they're, yeah, they're going to talk to you about, can we fix this? Baby, I still love you. Baby, I want to be with you. You know, I'm reaching out. They're sending a message of communication here, trying to connect that fire with you again, okay? Um, they're like, can we meet up? Can we see each other? Can we go out for drinks? Can we have dinner? Let's get, let's just, just coffee. Can you just come up for coffee? Or, you know, can I, can I come see you? Can we, you know, reunite? Can we, I want to make this decision to really invest in this Gemini energy. I feel like you're my soulmate and I really messed up. They have all this internal conflict around them about how to say this or when to say this, but the decision's been made. They're going to unexpectedly kind of pop in. Scorpio energy, they're thinking about you. They're thinking about making an offer to you. There you are again. Like I say, and I feel like you're ma putting on this mask. You don't want them to see how much they've actually hurt you. The problem is, it still does affect you. It's like, yes, you may have moved on, dating someone new, but that pain, it's still there. Because, like I say, you gave and gave and gave so much of yourself, so much of your time, your energy, maybe even money, to this situation. And this person has put up all this resistance. You know, you're, you're fighting to kind of break free from this because you're wanting to live an authentic life true life you want to be with someone who's truly going to give to you you're putting in all this work and i do feel like there is something here that's 
beautiful for you. Maybe an option here in love, a choice coming in. Someone that you could have this friendship with. Someone who's going to respect your boundaries and actually, you know, listen to you. I feel like that feeds your soul. That's actually good, healthy for you. Does that make sense? I feel like though you are still healed from the past, there is something here. Um, but, I mean, I do see the past person is living in a lot of regrets. And I feel like there's a, a need for closure for the past. So maybe this is what you needed to hear so that you can understand that. Um, this person's still in their head. They, they miss you. Okay. That's what I have for you. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for those of you who sent in donations. They are greatly appreciated. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. As always, I'm wishing you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.